Bank's private client reserve hosted a Women Empowering Women event last week on the topic of financial preparedness. About 100 people attended the breakfast at Cincinnati's Playhouse in the Park to hear from Lee Woodruff, author and wife of journalist Bob Woodruff, who suffered serious injuries while reporting in Iraq. She shared her journey to financial preparedness by experiencing a life-altering event. When my husband, Bob Woodruff, was injured in Iraq in 2006, that was a very sudden moment. Um, not everyone's husband is going to be hit by a bomb in a war, but there are so many things, as, as many folks out there understand, whether it's divorce or a car accident or an illness. And we always think that that's not going to happen to us, and I think that's human nature to believe that. And we should walk around and live every day as if it's not, but on the back end, it's really important to be prepared. What a powerful short story she has to share. Lee Woodruff was joined by Kate Brown and Mindy McLaughlin from U.S. Bank, who offered tips on how to prepare for the unexpected. And in this morning's U.S. Bank Economic 360, we're fortunate to be joined by Senior Portfolio Manager Mindy McLaughlin, who will share her insight with us. She's with our own Jim Russell, U.S. Bank Investment Analyst, with us most weeks on Business Watch. Jim and Mindy. Uh, thank you, Brian. Mindy, thank you for joining us this morning. Mindy is a senior portfolio manager for U.S. Bank Wealth Management and does wonderful work for our private clients and will be leading the chicken dance at, at, in this weekend's um, uh, Oktoberfest, so watch for that. Mindy, welcome. Thank Thanks. you for joining us. Thanks. So what were some of the key takeaways? What were some of the key messages you shared with your audience at the event? Sure. It was a great event. We had a, we had a wonderful time, and really our content focused on three areas, awareness, education, and comfort. And we really started with laying out some statistics that I think a lot of people know some of these. You know, women tend to live a lot longer than men. Um, sadly, we're often widowed at an early age. And so we do have to deal with mm -hmm. wealth management issues. Right. Um, one bright spot is we're graduating a lot of women out of college um, as well as starting a lot of businesses. So one way or another, we're really going to be dealing with these types of financial matters. Sure, sure. Um, regarding education, I think we talked a lot about the importance of knowing what does your net worth statement look like what do you own you know, where is it do you have any debts and important so stuff, forth right. very important stuff we also d discussed um, important documents that you need to have and make sure you're revisiting and updating mm -hmm. especially you know in Lee's case health mm -hmm. care powers right. of attorney and directives and so forth and so that's critical and then of course we always talk about budgeting and bill right. pay right. Um, and so really I think the the primary emphasis was having your view be heard and have a seat at the table so you get that level of comfort and are able to deal with these financial matters. Well, a lot of important things there, no question. Mm -hmm. Now, you and your team talk a little bit about goals-based investing. Can you explain to us maybe why that is so critical? Sure. Um, you know, when you, when you look at investing and planning, we, we often refer to you know Maslow's hierarchy of needs and then we've got a, a financial pyramid that we kind of use for planning which which isn't just cash flow analysis you know do you have enough to pay your bills what we do when we meet with our clients is we really like to sit down with them and not only go through the basic needs but move them up that pyramid right. so that they're able to achieve that level of financial independence but the fun stuff really is at the top of the pyramid you know what do you really want your money to do for you is it help your children and grandchildren or perhaps a social legacy you know maybe you have some some charitable involvement so you know, really try to put the focus you know it's not as you move up the pyramid it's not just on you but on helping others and and that type of thing well wow, great stuff there too um, you know when I uh, listen to you I, I can I'm kind of taken with the word empowerment that's that's what is is left with me what are you actually asking men and women uh, that you speak to to do what are, what are the takeaways there Mindy sure you know I think really one big thing that we find and, and this could be with with either spouse but oftentimes you know only one person in a household is responsible for the financial affairs and so we want to make sure that you know both spouses really understand what they have or who they would need to go to you know many times it's important to have uh, an investment advisor or a financial advisor, someone like myself or a trusted friend right. who can help you. Because really what we're trying to do is give you peace of mind so that you can take care of yourself and your family and, and the things that matter to you the most. Right. right. This is really important stuff to hold on to. Thank you for sharing this morning.